The case of Rene Lima Marin has been a roller coaster if there ever was one. He's been arrested, freed, put back into custody, and now may soon be free once again. It's a complicated story, one that Kelly Worthman has been following for years. And Kelly, he's inside that ICE detention center in Aurora. And Dom, he has spent the last five months behind bars here, but with a new judge's order, it could be just a matter of hours, if not a couple of days, that he could be reunited with his wife and two young sons. The kids miss him. I miss him. For three years, Jasmine Lima Marin has prayed for her husband's return. Wednesday morning brought new hope when Renee Lima Marin got a call from his attorney saying an immigration judge ordered him free. Excitement, confusion. He was at a little bit of a loss for words. He said, so what does this mean? This isn't the first time renee has been told he's a free man. After receiving a 98-year prison sentence for armed robbery in 1998, Renee was freed by mistake 90 years early. Then in 2014, after starting a new life, the error was discovered and he was put back behind bars. This May, a state judge ordered Renee's re-release and Governor Hickenlooper issued a pardon. But immigration officials claimed Renee was eligible for de deportation to Cuba, the country he left when he was only two. Renee is now waiting word if the Department of Homeland Security will appeal the judge's order of release. If he walks out of ICE custody, if he walks free, that is him waking up from this nightmare. But the nightmare is still real for Jason Kasparic, who was in the Aurora video store when it was robbed at gunpoint. He believes Renee is getting a chance at freedom he doesn't deserve. Are we going to do this with everybody now? As for Renee's family, their hopes remain high. Every single day, the kids are still asking, you know, like, what's going on? It's like, just be patient. Now, ICE does have 30 days to file that appeal, and until that decision is made, Renee will remain in custody here in Aurora. Reporting live in Aurora, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Thank you, Kelly. Police